Hey Ratbags, it's Jade giving the first look today at Dune Awakening gameplay, proper gameplay, although it is heavily cut in with CGI and more, and a tentative release window. Yeah, of course, uh, it's meant to be arriving early 2025 for PC only, with seemingly an Xbox or PlayStation release date probably going to be a long way off. Which is kind of surprising, because back when they announced Dune Awakening, it did make out like it was going to be a almost finished game, no mention of it being in early access initially, and there's still no mention of it being early access on its Steam page, but then why isn't it coming out at the same time on Xbox and PlayStation if it's not going to be some drawn out process of basically being on Steam and tested by PC players before arriving on Xbox Series S and X and PlayStation 5 at some point in the future? Anyway, yeah, let's cover it. Got announced at Gamescom just literally moments ago, and I'm here with the release window and that trailer. And yeah, it looks like Conan Exiles 2.0, but we've gone into the technological future. You will be able to utilize a variety of different guns, with a big focus and narration from Joel Bylos, the game's creative director and the original creator of Conan Exiles. And we see some fairly, I would say, simple UI systems for the characters, a bit of actual gameplay riding one of the kind of trikes behind as we're going to go and take out a PvE area, I'm guessing. Yep, you can climb, you can glide, you can snipe from afar, you can choose how to take on one of these settlements. The shooting looks very arcadey. It looks like the actual aim cones are quite wide. Some elements are kind of cool, but I'm a bit concerned about some of the animations there once you actually got close to an enemy. But you can see the boxes in the shooting here. It does seem to be just rather large. So maybe not a precision shooter if that's what you were looking for. I'm not knocking it. It could be fun. Maybe not to be such a sweaty tryhard and have absolute hours on aim train. But that's also the feedback I've had leaked to me from people playing the beta, that the shooting isn't great at the moment. Cuts to showing off the bases, how to build up your guild, how we're going to be transferring the blood from our fallen enemies into water. So yep, we're all vampires now. Utilising fabricators to build new vehicles and obviously construct new weapons. The one cool element that I've got to say is the blueprint system. You'll be able to build a base and if you think it's worthy enough to put up on the store, people can actually buy your design and basically build it themselves. That is a really cool feature. You could become a world famous renowned architect if you really wanted to. Another one is that looking likely you can maybe modular build your ornithocopter and maybe even upgrade it that way. That looks pretty cool too. Now they did get some help and I can't remember the studio that did it but they're kind of renowned for working on vehicular combat or vehicular design. I think maybe something to do with working on the Watchdog series at one point. So if they're still utilising that studio, it could be interesting how the actual combat goes. The worlds look, as you would expect, Dune is filled with sand and how really many times can you make that look a bit different? There are or have meant to have been some green places on Arrakis, but yeah, it definitely looks like it's living up to what we all assume it would be. Deep canyons, maybe some burnt charred areas or just darker rock and lots of ruins to go and explore. They've heavily collaborated with the makers of the Dune movie franchise that basically based the game off the look of that. But of course, if you hadn't realised or heard about this, they've got an alternate story. You won't be playing as Paul Treyu, or you will, but it'll be an alternate version. And I totally said his second name wrong there, but I'm not editing it out. I'm going to leave it in. So yeah, and we're working for House Harkonnen. We'll be choosing the Great House and basically trying to build up our guild make the take on board others and this is all from like one of the PVE hubs where we can maybe condone certain attacks on other members or just go and buy some new gear. Yeah, I had heard the game was in a bit of a rough state, the beta. They've had it continuously running now, apparently sending out wave after wave to new people and it, as expected it won't be hitting until next year. Now they did stress early 2025, so you never know, it really might be something like February, maybe March latest, that to me is early 2025, but who knows, I'm pretty sure this game was meant to have come out last year, or at the very latest this summer, but obviously that hasn't transpired, so yeah, don't get too excited about playing it early next year, as I'm sure there could end up being a delay, but fingers crossed, I'm being pessimistic because I've got a downer on Funcom over how they basically ended up leaving Conan Exiles in the way it has been developed the last couple of years, but fingers crossed this might be a new page and I can get a bit more positive if the gameplay lives up to what we're seeing and hopefully some more refinement of that shooting. So that's my big mouth, big take. Let me know if you're interested in this survival MMO and I'll see you at Bags for more news later.